Hi guys, my name is Eric Luper, and I want to thank you so much for including me in your Snow Isle third grade reading challenge. Now my name is Eric Luper, and most of you guys know me from this year's book selection or one of your book selections, which is Key Hunters. I know it's reversed, but it's a camera thing. Um, other people know me for my book series called The Chocolate Lab, but I also write books. I've written 28 books now for young readers. I also write books for Cartoon Network and TV and movies. So I've written books for shows like Teen Titans Go, and I've written books for Pokemon, and I've written books for The Amazing World of Gumball, and Ben 10, and Star Wars, and Scooby-Doo, and a whole bunch of, of other titles that are out there. Um, so a lot of people ask me um, whether I was a writer or a, an avid reader when I was a kid. And the truth is, is that I did not really embrace writing or reading until um, a little bit later. I was what teachers called a reluctant reader when I was growing up, which meant, didn't mean that I couldn't read, but it just meant that I sort of avoided reading a little bit. Um, I had trouble finding books that were right for me. Um, but as I grew older, I developed a love for reading. And when I got to college, I developed a love for writing. And I started writing and trying to get my first book published when I was about 30 years old. So I am pretty darn old. But since that time, it's been really fun. Um, I really do love writing. Now, when I was a kid, um, even though I was a reluctant reader, I found books that I did like. And I really enjoyed reading comic books when I was a kid. Two of my favorite titles were Spider-Man and I really liked The Incredible Hulk. Um, I also liked reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So I hope some of you guys have started reading that book. Um, anything by Shel Silverstein. You guys may have heard of a book called The Giving Tree. I also liked a book called Where the Sidewalk Ends. Um, and then my very favorite book growing up was a book called The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster. And I really did enjoy that and I would read it again and again and again. So as I said, um, I started writing when I was about 30 years old. Um, and since that time, I've had 28 books published. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I'll give you a clue. When I was in third grade, I was um, when I was eight years old. It was 1978. So if you want to try to figure out how old I am, you can do the math yourself. Um, people always ask me what my inspiration for Key Hunters was. And what I can tell you about that is that there's this really fancy library in New York City called the Morgan Library. It's about five or six blocks away from the New York Public Library, which is that big library with the, um, the big lions out front. <clears throat> but this library is about five blocks away. It's in a building um, that was originally owned and bu built and owned by this guy by the name of J.P. Morgan, who was a really rich guy about 100 years ago. And he was so rich and wealthy that he owned a whole block in New York City. And part of the building was his office, part was his apartment, and part was this beautiful library. Well, it's a museum now, and you can go there. And even you could Google pictures of the Morgan Library in New York City. It is super beautiful. And if you read on in the Key Hunter series, you're going to see some very close similarities between what that library looks like and what the library, the magic library in Key Hunters looks like. You're going to see a big fireplace in there. You're going to see these pedestals with books, and you're going to see um, all of these catwalks that go around the top where all the books are really high up. And the other interesting thing about the Morgan Library is that there are secret doors. And you can actually go into the secret doors and go up staircases and come out in other parts of the library. And so when I went to this place and just to have a look around, immediately the idea of a magic library popped into my mind. And that's where the idea for Key Hunters comes from. So people also ask me, um, am I working on a book now? And the answer to that is yes. And if you want to know, you're going to have to stay posted because right now that idea is top, top secret. It's not Key Hunters 8. It's not Chocolate Lab 4. And it's not something for TV or movies. It's something original and something that I'm really excited about. So anyhow, have a great time with your Snow Isle third grade reading challenge. If you have any questions, you can look me up on my website, which is www.ericlooper.com, E-R-I-C-L-U-P-E-R.com. Um, and feel free to get in touch, but there's lots of um, current information on that website as well. 
So have a great time, have a great summer, and keep on reading.